Today's adventure begins round two. Yesterday I tried getting home, back to Central Florida out of Phoenix. It did not happen. I got stuck in the desert of Arizona. So I'm going back to the airport today for round two as a recording of this Sunday, July 2nd, 2023. Stayed in these accommodations last night. Checked in a little late. Now there's a guy fishing stuff out of the fountain over there. Off to the airport. Welcome everyone, Adam is the who here. This is a do-over from yesterday. Did not make it out of PHX, which I believe are the three letters for the Phoenix airport. Had a direct flight yesterday, did not happen. Completely delayed, 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 and then they just ended it completely, leaving me out here. Got this hotel, really nice hotel. And now I'm gonna be heading in, it's very early, about 7.30. I have my glasses on at the moment because I need coffee. These eyes are not made for 7.20 a.m. when you got very little sleep. A little bit stressful yesterday, but it could have been worse. I gotta be honest, it could have been way worse than it was. Need to get home today because in the morning, I have something going on. Yesterday would have been really nice to get home. Today, needed to get home. Have a layover in Austin and out of Austin to Orlando. With the time change, it's three hours behind here in Phoenix than it is in Florida. Should get home around 6.30 p.m. if it all goes well. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And there is in fact a shuttle that goes from here. This is the double tree over to the airport. And they said it's gonna leave in a couple of minutes. You can see it parked right underneath under the awning. Now I know sometimes people have told me that when you have a flight that is completely postponed or canceled or anything like that, that they will comp your hotel. I didn't even wait around yesterday to find that out. I just wanted to get out of the airport. You know, kind of a stressful situation. So I went ahead and just booked this myself, but I don't know, maybe, maybe next time if I had a little bit more patience, I would just kind of wait around and wait in the 100 plus person line. To, to talk to the people at guest services, but I didn't want to do that yesterday. Either way, heading to the airport now via the shuttle. Right here. All right, in fact, it was not the golf cart that was pulling up in that last frame. But yeah, it was this the Cookie Awaits mobile. They gave me a cookie last night when I checked in, which was kind of nice after a little, a little bit of stress yesterday. I got a cookie. Got this very interesting tile mural. I thought this sign down here was going to say something about don't touch the tile. But it says, please do not move chairs in front of displays. And you'll notice there are no chairs in front of this display. Someone moved the chairs. It wasn't me. All right, I got to go to B, the B gates, which has an eight minute wait. B gate, all gates go up. I go up the escalator, escalator top, and up toward the little mosaic here on the roof. In the food court looks like a sun. Phoenix gets very sunny. I was looking at the weather. It's going to get to 115 today here. I got to be honest, I'm a little nervous about today. I've heard a lot of kind of horror stories about a lot of airlines all over the U.S. and maybe even the world, but just all over the U.S. the last couple days that have been a lot of different delays. Okay, right here. So yesterday I had a direct flight, I did not gonna have a layover, and it did not end well for me. Today, I have a layover, so if it goes well today, I will be counting my blessings for sure. So I am going to Austin, flight 848, departs at 924, out of gate B7, currently on time. Now from Austin, I'll go to Orlando. So again, let's we'll see what happens. I am departing. Okay, that was relatively quick and easy. Behind me, a lot of people are getting into line, but I got in pretty fast, so I didn't have to take anything out of this. I usually have my laptop in here. Now, it's funny, yesterday, I used a different machine. Same airport, different machine. I had to leave the laptop in the bag. Of course, you take your belt and shoes off, walk across the dirty floor in your socks. But I had to put this in its own bin. This went in a bin with this. Also, bring my own gum as well. But yesterday it was completely different. This had to, these shoes had to go in a tray yesterday. Today, this, they were like kind of yelling, don't put it in a tray, just leave it on the roller itself. 
So it all depends on the machine. I asked, like, how come yesterday was different? I said, it's because of the machine. They had newer machines yesterday than the line I went through today, which is an older machine. Very interesting. And there wasn't a lot of proper signage to even let you know. And each airport's different to let you know, like, what's got to go where, what's got to come out. Just, it's all, it's all. It's all part of the experience for us. It's like deja vu from yesterday. They did, however, have this sign that I snapped a photo of going through. Please remove all full-size DVD players from your bag and video cameras that use cassettes. What the heck year is this, Phoenix? I feel like I've been here before. Hello, me. It's me again. Hey, look, they have cactus candy over here. I get a little souvenir to take home. Cactus candy. Look how cute that one is right there. Ever notice how little mascots are so adorable? And then they're just kind of like, please don't eat me. Quality products. That's 1942. That's a candy lollipop. You gotta come this way. Right there. What do I have to do? Oh, the scorpion suckers. Oh, real scorpion suckers here. Real bugs in there, huh? Yep, delicious. They're delicious? I eat them all the time. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna pass. It's too early for scorpions. Uh, you haven't been to combat. Mm -hmm. Kind of see downtown off in the distance. I had a nice little chat with the guy who was working at the older gentleman there. He was saying how back in the day, he would eat like scorpions and bugs and things. All right, still showing on time. Whoop, moving over here now. Austin, flight 848, on time. B, seven. I'm just kind of meandering around. I was like looking at the different planes. So this is like a smaller one. This is an N713SK right over there. And you can see this one looks like it's about to depart. This one's a little larger than the other ones. There's just a lot of uh, the American airline gates. It's pretty expansive. Again, crossing my fingers today works out well. Yeah, the sun is definitely coming up. You can see this. I can feel the heat coming through this window pretty potently. And it's just like glaring off that airplane out there. I mean, it's still really early and it's just standing by this window. It's like scorchingly hot. Again, I was looking at the weather. It's gonna get to 115 today later. There is a coffee shop over there called The Refuge and I got myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I bored in about 25 minutes. I've heard never to drink coffee on a plane. Something about the unfiltered or refiltered or reuse water. I don't really know how it all works. I am still going to drink coffee on a plane when it is presented to me and I'm kind of in a rush and I can't get one at the gates. But for today, I'm going to get a larger coffee right over here. But yeah, I've always heard, I don't, know, I don't know if it's like a myth or an urban legend that you shouldn't drink coffee on a plane, but it's not going to stop me from drinking coffee on a plane. But today, I won't be drinking coffee on a plane because I got one before getting on the plane. And the way I'm speaking right now, definitely signifies that I need said coffee before getting on the plane. I might be losing my mind a little bit. All right, that is my plane over there. Boards in eight minutes. Eight minutes till boarding. Quick, come another Quick. Now we'll know. Doesn't look like they're doing any work in there. They don't have the sun visor over it. This is a very shrewd design. No, not the coffee cup and not this, but a very shrewd design over here. I'm trying to like turn the coffee around and show this. So I was looking to put the, my coffee down on a table of some sort, but you can't because look at this. They built this on an incline where it will slide off. They don't want anybody loitering over near here. See how that's kind of at an angle? So if you try to put your coffee here, it'll just slide right off. I am sitting in one F. That's one F.
your way down the aisle and you find some overhead bin space, we ask that you place your larger overhead, your larger baggage in the overhead compartment. And if you have a second item, such as a backpack, a tote bag, or a purse, we ask that you please place them underneath the seat in front of you so that we can accommodate as many bags in the overhead bin. Absolute possible. pleasure to be flying in there this morning. My name is Captain Steve Schnell. On behalf of myself and my co-captain here, Corey Manton, we're going to fly there one hour and 52 minutes, wheels up to wheels down, at 35,000 feet, just about 775 miles east. Taking a quick look at the weather in Dallas, it looks like uh, very light winds, just a few clouds in the skies, and the temperature right now is 89 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's getting pretty warm there too. We have three of America's finest flight attendants working on the back I mean, of the aircraft close, today. But I hope this isn't going they to act as my representatives in the cabin, so please follow any instructions that they give you. But certainly, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Once again, welcome aboard. One hour and 52 minutes on over to Austin. Okay, so Austin, you worry me with the Dallas weather.
Uh, still pretty much the same light winds, good visibility, and the temperature is now up to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. We're we'll parking over at gate 31, that's 31. We appreciate you coming along with us today. We appreciate your business here in America, and certainly I uh, hope you have a great time in the Boston, Austin area or wherever your final destination takes you. Just checked in my next flight boards in 17 minutes. I'm cutting it close. Right now it's uh, blocking our uh, taxi in, but we're, we should be just a few minutes away from uh, pulling into the gate, gate 31. Appreciate your patience, and uh, like said, we should be moving shortly. See the uh, jet bridge with the number 31 on it. Uh, apparently they are looking at it. I guess it's stuck right where it is right now. So the, uh, that flat, when you see that flashing yellow light on the bottom, that's them trying to move it and it's not moving. So uh, my hunch is going to be a few more minutes, maybe another 10 minutes or so. But okay. uh, I will update <laughs> you about every, if, if it's not good moved um, in 10 minutes, I'll update you again. My flight board's in 10 minutes from Austin to Florida, Orlando. Got to go to gate 28 to board another flight, which is they're all pretty close. It's a small airport, but. Something wrong with the jet bridge. 
charger over there. Do not want to miss my flight from Austin to Orlando. from this very moment. Gotta find my gate. Right. Gate 28, I just double checked. So this is 30, not too far. Looking for gate 28, I think they're making the announcement now. Oh, I see the plane over there actually. And that is the one, gate 28 to Orlando boarding in one minute. Austin, I am in you for about 38 seconds. <laughs> they already called group six. It's group one, so. Definitely, they started boarding a few minutes before I thought they were going to. I am sitting in seat 3F. I think I sat the same F window seat except instead of seat 1, I'm in F. I mean, instead of seat 1, I'm in seat 3. Seven, this one. That's one way to get out of the luggage area. Looks like it's hot out there too. They got the makeshift refreshment station. I'll tailgate me.
turns out I do have a first class seat. I paid for first class. So there's been other flights sometimes where even if there's a layover, like on the first flight you'll get a meal, second leg of the flight you'll get a meal. So the first flight there was no meal, just like some snacks, like some uh, little snacky things. And on this one I guess the, the meal truck didn't show up. So there can, there's not going to be a meal. So the next option, which is fine, pretty much the main reason I do any kind of first class is just to have a little more leg room and elbow room. That's like the main draw for me. But there is no meal. And so I just said maybe I'll get some Pringles and maybe the cheese and charcuterie snack thing that the rest of the plane gets. And they said they don't even have that. They don't, they don't have anything but possibly some cookies and maybe peanuts. So, I'll eat when I get off the plane. Yeah, once they said that it wasn't, they weren't gonna be serving a meal, I said, oh, I'll get the fruit and cheese plate, maybe some Pringles. And they said, oh, we don't even have the Pringles or the sea salt almonds the breakfast bag or the cheese plate but drinks are complimentary but I haven't drank soda in like seven weeks been doing pretty good on the no soda so I'm just gonna get a water and then maybe if they have some peanuts oh yes only the best First class American Airlines. This is interesting. They have the DCA, which is the Washington DC airport on them. I'm not even going anywhere near Washington DC. To be honest, after yesterday's fiasco, I'm just happy to be on a plane home. Food is food is secondary leg room, elbow room, more important, and a water, look at this, it's got its logo on the side. One thing I also will say about American Airlines I love is they have Dr. Pepper. A lot of airlines don't have Dr. Pepper, but since I'm not drinking soda anymore, it doesn't really, doesn't really make a difference to me. But I do like that they have Dr. Pepper. Most airlines don't. Looks like coming across the Florida coastline now. Ooh, I see Tropicana Field down there. Home of the Tampa Bay Rays. like MCO Orlando International over there. I guess we're gonna go bypass it, then circle back and down to the runway. downtown again and then land.
Orlando, where local time is 5.50 p.m. 5.50 p.m. Today we'll be arriving at gate 57 in Terminal B as in Boy. If you did check a bag with us, it can be found at baggage claim number 24. And once again, we'll be arriving at Terminal B. All right, after a couple of travel days in a row, I'm now back in Orlando. I'm back. Look how old these mugs are. You know, I never actually knew what this was called. I always call it the monorail, but in fact, it's called the gate link. It's called the gate link. There goes the gate link. The gate link, I like that. The gate link. And one would think, including myself, that I should probably relax for a few days after being gone for, I don't know, 35, 36, 37 days. In fact, I haven't even, haven't even been to my place in celebration in 40 days because three or four days before I departed on my trip, I ended up staying, my friend Jay came into town and we did some Disney days, stayed in the resorts and I wasn't even at, I wasn't even at my, my homestead. So I haven't been to my place in 40 days, but tomorrow, bright and early tomorrow, no time to relax. Got an agenda tomorrow. So today, because yesterday my flight did not happen and it was a whole rigmarole, it was a big mess, American Airlines out of Phoenix to here. So this was gonna be my day to take care of stuff and kind of decompress and, and do things around the homestead and you know get my get my thoughts together, take some take care of some adult business, things like that. But that's not gonna be happening tomorrow. Stay in the course. I do this to myself, I think. I like to stay busy. At some point I'll probably start to take a few few days for a little R and R between trips. But this one, not happening. At 6.15, also I need to charge my phone. 94 degrees. Granted, I just, I'm at MCO Orlando International, but not too far to celebration. 94 degrees right now at six o'clock. A few hours has gone by. It is now 9.42. It is 83 degrees and mostly clear. Got my car back. And I am back. It's been about 40 days. <laughs> Just about 40 days. I love traveling, I like seeing things, I like going places, even places I'm really familiar with and new places. But there's no place like home. We'll see you in the next video, the vlog is over.